So you pay for this place yourself? I'm not at liberty to say. Not at liberty. Captain Liberty, he's not at liberty. Ironic. So my mother's been calling me, asking me how things are going, what's new. Is that unusual, chum? I'd guess she's been doing that ever since your emergence from the canal. So I'm assuming there's a point to this. Oh, I sure hope so. I'm on the edge of my seat. All right, all right. The point is, I haven't told her. Told her what? You know. No, I don't. Wait, don't tell me. Give me a hint. My lifestyle choice. No fair, I asked for a hint. You haven't told your mother that you're super? No. Caught, Lanta. Arthur, what are you waiting for? You are a superhero. Now, you can lie or you can try to cover it up, but as soon as she sees you on TV or in the paper... Or a Broadway musical? She's gonna be that much more devastated. So it was hard to tell your parents? I don't want to talk about it. Ooh. Raw nerve, raw nerve. My point is, Arthur, you need to come out. Villains can sniff a closeted superhero from a mile away. This could be the difference between life and death. And, I mean, you are who you are, so you might as well just accept it. Come out, Arthur. Come out to play. Look at me. I'm out. I'm out there. I'm way out there! That's the other problem. I am the wild blue yonder, the front line in a never-ending battle between good and not so good. Together with my stalwart sidekick Arthur and the magnanimous help of some other folks I know, we formed the ying to villainy's malevolent yang. Destiny has chosen us. Wicked men, you face the tick. Don't take that tone with me, mister. Uh, hey, you think the full get-up is too much? Oh, they're probably there already, I bet. My sister is always early. <laughs> Talk is cheap, potty mouth. What? Stop it in the toilet. Keep on running, pal. That's fine by me. You can run, but you cannot hide. Dick, this is kind of a big deal for me, telling my family about my new, uh, my new... Lifestyle choice? Sure, yes. So, if we could not worry about the toilet right now, okay? Fair enough, but we mustn't let our guard down, Chum. We've got a devilishly clever commode here. He's already taken the bathtub as an ally in his porcelain war against us. Ah, the bathtub is backed up too now? Tick, please, don't fix anything else, okay? What's past the point of fixing, my friend? Negotiations are at an impasse. This has become a battle of wills, a battle I intend on winning. After lunch, of course. Yeah, Tick, uh, about lunch. Mother, I'm sure this is it. I called today and I double-checked the address. I just don't like all the mystery. Why didn't Arthur say what this was about over the phone? He wants his engagement to be a surprise. Mom, enough already. I'm his sister. I think I'd know if he was getting married. Don't turn around. Oh, my. Is this that kind of place? Sir, I want you to meet them. It's just I'm going to be dropping quite a bombshell here, and you're this whole other bombshell. Whistling toward the target, ready to blow. Yeah, exactly. So if you could give me a few minutes to get them used to the idea of, you know, me. Oh, and Tick, remember that talk we had about how you yell all the time? I do indeed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We don't want any of that. So if you have to say anything, use the quiet voice we practice. You mean this quiet voice? Oh, uh, one more thing. If I do this, it means... Get in there, you're not... No, it means crazy talk, crazy talk. Change the subject. Hi, Ma. Huh? Oh, my God. Oh. Well, look at your little outfit. You're losing them, Arthur. Arthur, I just don't understand this. A superhero? Yes, Dad. I felt it was time for me to take a stand, to start doing something I really believed in. What about your job? Well, I've quit accounting, Dot. This is my job now. Tell them the part about how we're going to save the world. What's going on, Thick? Oh. Oh. Arthur's in there telling his family about his exciting new life as a superhero. Oh, no, no, no. That never goes well. Are you insane? Mom! Waitress, another one, please. No ice this time. 
So when do we get to meet the fiance? Arthur family. Mom, Dot, this is the Tick. He's my new crime fighting partner. Well, that's right, ladies. We are a duo. Tick, this is. So you're the mother. What a pleasure it is to shake hands with the womb that spilled Arthur into the world. And let's not forget the womb mate, Dot. Arthur's words do no justice to your nervous, white-knuckled beauty. Tick, sit down. Quiet voice. And let's all try to discuss this. Quiet voice. So, Dot, Arthur tells me you're rather controlling. Arthur? Tick. Kids? Everybody, let's drink to Arthur's bold new adventure and embrace him proudly. Maybe you should just stay out of this. Oh, I couldn't if I tried, sis. Arthur and I are as one. A four-legged, two-headed engine of rightness with nowhere to go but up. We're making gravy without the lumps. We're flying to the moon in a rocket built for Crazy talk, moon. crazy talk, change the subject. Oh, my. I'd love to see the tiny fellow who left this behind. You're not going to marry my son, are you? Yo, heavens no, Mom. I'm already married to that sweet feel-good giantess called Justice. Well, we're not going to sit here for this craziness. Mother, can you get up? Yes, I can. Come on, Dad. Arthur, you are going to have to grow up. You can't keep running away from your problems like this. Well, that's the best part. He doesn't have to run. He can fly. <sighs> Mother, we're leaving. Play safe with your new friends, dear. Well, that could have gone better. Well, that was pretty brutal. You okay, Arthur? Excuse me, perhaps the moment is an opportune, but I must say, I find your sister strangely compelling. Do you think she'd care to go? What? No, she's married. She's got two kids. Oh, yes, I thought I knew that scent. A soccer mommy. Oh. It's my only weakness. Wish we could be reasonable about this and discuss our differences with compromise in mind, but you love it. Let me finish. I have no choice but to resort to chemical warfare. This poison parade will stem your tide. You made your bed, now drink it. Dick, please, God, stop messing with the toilet. Bit irritable. Toilets don't talk. They don't. Well, that's a maybe in my book, chum. Yeah, hello? Oh, thank God, Dodd. No, no, I'm glad you called. We have to... Now? What, you're still in the city? But I thought... No, of course not. That's fine. I... No, I'll be right over. What hotel? Not so talky with a belly full of hell, are we? Hey, Tick, I have to go out. It's, it's really important. Uh, I have to go alone. Right. I'll come with you. Uh, no, Tick, you don't understand. I have to go alone, which means that you have to stay here, okay? Okay. Okay. Tick, no. Stay here. Okay. Oh, oh Tick, I, I don't have time for this. Just stay here and talk to the toilet. Talk to whatever. We're a duo. <laughs> You stay out of this. Hi. Hi, Arthur. Jesus. Dark. Mom? I'm here, son. What's going on? Perhaps I should explain, Arthur. Mom, who's this? I'm Frances Peacock, and your mother and sister called me because of their deep, deep concern for you. <laughs> Are you serious? Dot, Mom, you're giving me an intervention? Arthur, I am a licensed graduate student of psychology, and I have years of experience in dealing with this addiction. Addiction? Addiction. Oh. 
It starts out innocently enough. You pick up a few magazines to get your jollies, but soon you've got a monkey on your back. You find yourself hanging out at costume shops. Maybe you try on a cape, maybe a mask, maybe even gauntlets. And the next thing you know, you're buying your first pair of tights. Oh. And you are on that long, slippery slope to moral oblivion. This is ridiculous. I'm leaving. Oh. Arthur, your family has already signed all the necessary papers to put you into my custody. I have a rehabilitation. Please don't touch me. Where we could... Please. Fine. Fine, Arthur. Fine. Mom, this is insane. I'm out of here. Code green! Code oh, green. God! Dot, I need you to be strong for him right now. Mom, I'm not crazy. Oh. You're simply going through what we like to call the family remorse phase. But you've got to trust me. You've done the right thing. Rex, Muhammad, trust him up and put him in the van. Where did Arthur go? What Arthur said. Arthur said that Plumman doesn't talk. I don't know. Arthur! Oh, shut up. Oh, shut up! right here in this booth. And um, he'd order the number three. I remember that much. Oh, Arthur, you were always number one in my book. You know, if he snaps, we're gonna have a hell of a problem on our hands. You should move on, Dick, you know? Meet someone else. When a woman disappears on Batman well, he doesn't sulk in his egg and pancake meal. He mingles. Have you seen this man? Okay, everybody, take your seats. Take your seats. Okay. Everybody, Arthur, like many of you, suffers from delusions of grandeur. He has an exaggerated sense of responsibility, a manic and irrational desire to save the world, which of course comes into conflict with the sad little reality of Arthur's insignificance. Really, it's a classic, almost a textbook case of identity crisis. But now, Arthur, maybe you could tell us, because I find this kind of interesting. Why is it that you chose your own name as your superhero identity. <clears throat> I, I just haven't figured out a good one yet. Huh? I just haven't figured out a good one yet. Uh. I'm working on it. One step. understand what happened to Arthur. He's been gone so long, and I've grown so accustomed to him being around. Good Lord, the man is my anchor. Fondue? Yes. Uh, why? It's the food of lovers. <gasps> Unless, of course, they're lactose intolerant. Ew. No, 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 let it ring. No, it could be important. More important than fondue? I'd make the argument that nothing is more important than fondue. Hello? I'm fine. But Manuel will eat your fondue and his fondue. No fondue for you. 
You get the fondue. You fondue? No can do. Do you mind? You're where? An insane asylum. Do you fondue? I do too. I fondue you. Will you shut up? Arthur's in an insane asylum. My fault? What do you mean it's my fault? What do I mean? You're the one who pushed me to tell my mother about my lifestyle. Yes, I know. And wasn't it freeing? Free. Freeing? I have been locked away in a loony bin with keys, big keys, that go jingle jingle on large bald men's belts. That's not free. Allow me. Arthur, you like fondue, right? Ah! A simple no would suffice. What the? Hallucinations are very troubling to me, Arthur. Good night. Uh! Help! Where is Arthur? Where is my chum? Has he gone back to the womb? Do they have phones in there? Why couldn't he have called? I've returned to the womb, Tick. I'll call when I get born. Tick, look, there, there, there are people who think that we are different. We are different. People who think that putting on tights or a mask and a cape and trying to save people is an act of madness. Yes, it is. Madness and evil. I'm mad at bad. Aren't you? Yes, I'm somewhat. Look, the point is that there are places where they put superheroes to try to cure them, to, to make them normal, if you will. Normal? He gets. Is that where Arthur is? Yes. yes. And the law enforcement can't do anything about it because it's out of their jurisdiction. Well, Captain Liberty, that's just where our jurisdiction begins. I'm sorry, ladies. Visiting hours are over for this evening. You're going to... Oh. We need to split up. You take the offices, I'll take the wards. I excuse me. Excuse me. And you shut up. We regroup in five, people. All right, and Batanoel will protect the women. Which one of you nuts has seen Arthur? you find me? I just walked around and yelled a lot. <laughs> Let's get you out of this fancy coat. Your mother and daughter waiting outside. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to see them. They, no. they think I'm insane. They threw me in here. No, that was the mom and daughter last week. The mom and daughter this week are much nicer. No, no, a week doesn't make a difference. They, they have no respect, no trust. Well, they don't have a lot of things. Not everyone can be as great as us, Arthur. But we just have to accept them for what they are. Now, your mother wants you back. And your sister. Your sister. She's fine. Okay. All right. Let's get going. All right. But I have to do one more thing. All right. Hey. 
How you doing? That is icky to infinity. Well, the Francis Peacock Superhero Deprogramming Center has been closed down by the authorities. Poetic justice. Is there any other kind? Puppet show justice. Arthur, I, I made a mistake committing you to that institution against your will. Oh, come on, everyone. Sure you sold <laughs> Arthur down a crazy okay. river. But let's use that spilt milk to put out this burning bridge, see? Yeah. See how easy we're one big happy family at last. Mom, Dad, I hope you realize superheroes are not freaks. <clears throat> that is, most superheroes are not freaks. And, uh, Tick, please. Mom, just promise you'll never commit me again, okay? Never again, honey. Okay, I just want to know one thing. Now, when my son asks what the deal is with his uncle and his big blue friend, what am I supposed to say? Dottie, you tell that boy of yours that his uncle and his blue friend are a crime-fighting duo, a two-headed cobra of goodness slithering down the path of righteousness, leaving its venom deep in the hindquarters of evil. <laughs> Why don't I just call him? Thank you.